Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of Earth. So if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of August 26th through the 28th, 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, uh, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to email me uh, for a price list if you don't already have it. Um, and then if you're wanting to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. So make sure that you're registered at Bill Per Call. Um, you can request a call back. And if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Also, be sure to check me out on um, Patreon for the monthly Venus sign readings. And check me out on TikTok. Okay, so we have the overall energy as the world. We've got the tower. We have um, the high priestess. We've got the nine of pentacles. The three of wands. We have the devil. Page, not page, knight of pentacles. Knight of Cups, let me get it together. <laughs> and King of Cups. Okay, so overall energies, um, I feel like there is some new change in your life, some new beginning, but it's almost like you're being thrusted into this new beginning. Um, there may have been something that ended abruptly or unexpected unexpectedly just out of the blue it also could uh, be that you suddenly went somewhere or took a trip or are flying out and it wasn't planned I feel too like a secret may be revealed that could either change things um, drastically or something may be putting you on um, a different path or a different road. Um, I feel like this is a new a new beginning for you. It definitely could also indicate that you finally have moved on from a person or a situation. Uh, something is indicating that you know there's been growth or there's been some sort of fulfillment so you may feel as if something has gone as far as it can go maybe you feel like you've um, maxed out or you know a relationship can't seem to go any further uh your time at a job has is it's been fulfilled you know so um if you have not yet left this situation i feel like you're going to um, but definitely some sort of, I feel like something's being ushered in. Um, your spirit guides also may be working overtime or doing something to really, um, like force you to change or to do something different. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's like all of a sudden you are coming off uh, independent um, on your own, but you seem to be at peace. You know, whatever is going on, even though something may have changed unexpectedly, I feel like you are at peace with whatever is happening. In a love situation, I feel like I feel like there's someone who admires you. Um, I feel that something starts off at something starts off as um, admiration and then is going to evolve into obsession um, and feeling like you gotta have something or you can't stop um, watching. Um, Something is becoming very intense. 
in a sense too i'm getting the energies of like the tables turning so it could be a situation where you are obsessed with someone and then all of a sudden the minute you let go or move on now they're obsessed with you you may have um some water signs around you or capricorn Hmm. And I feel too like maybe you're in a healthy spot right now. Um, something, it seems like there you're in a healthy place. Maybe it took you a long time to get here. And maybe healthy in the sense of like your, your eating habits. Um, maybe healthy because you have finally, like I said, moved on from someone. And it's like you're healthy. And then all of a sudden, you're dealing with the same thing that you just got away from, in a sense. Um, so I feel like you're being, you're dealing with some sort of temptation. So let's say this is diet wise, you know, maybe you just got back healthy, just got back into shape or just, you know, got some sort of discipline going on with you. And then all of a sudden you're surrounded by all these tempting things that you're not supposed to be eating. Um, I'm not going to say you're going to indulge for sure, but you know, it's, it's a strong possibility that you might. Um, maybe you just quit smoking and then all of a sudden you're around all these smokers and you're like, I don't have to smoke. And then all of a sudden you're like, eh, let me get a, you know, let me get a hit, you know, or if you are, um, we're drinking, I started to say swig. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was thinking about if you've been like, uh, sober or you have, cut down on alcohol intake, then you're around all this drinking and all of a sudden you're like, let me get a swig. You know, so something's going on where, um, something's going on where it seems like you're being tempted. Even like in a relationship, it's like, you just got used to being single. You're like, I'm single now, you know, I'm in a healthy place and here come, you know, somebody just, you know, and it's like some sort of intense connection that you're having with someone. Hopefully it's not an unhealthy relationship, although it could be. Uh, or it may be a situation where you become codependent again or someone is becoming codependent on you. It could, really, to me, is an energy that can go both ways. Like two people who just kind of become sucked into each other. Um, you might be tested. Let's put it that way. You might be tested. Um, even job wise, like let's say you were working, um, you finally let go of a job or got fired, laid off, whatever. And you're like, oh, finally, I get some free time. Or finally, I can start my own business. And then all of a sudden, that becomes like a job too. You know, your, your freedom, like all of a sudden, um, not, not like a job, but like all of a sudden you get called in for work again. Like you were just being independent or just relaxing. Now you got a call from a new place and you're like, oh, I guess I got to go back to work. You know, well, it's fun while it lasted. Um, yeah. Now, hmm, you might want to set boundaries with certain people that are around you, period. You definitely could be dealing with people who like to drain your energy, drain you of your resources. Um, or you might 
find yourself putting a lot of time and energy, emotion into someone and maybe they're not giving it back. Something that can come off as one-sided, basically. And if you recognize that something is one-sided, you're going to have to, you know, deal or confront that issue. You're going to have to, if it's about a love relationship, then you have to bring certain things to the attention of your partner. Like, look, I've been doing this. You know, you haven't done anything. So you just got to bring balance back to a relationship, really any relationship. Um, especially if you start doing something nice for somebody, maybe this is even like one of your parents and you've been nice and you've been helping them or, you know, giving them money. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you know what? Uh, I need this too. And this, and my friend, my friend over here needs that. And it's just like, wait a minute. Now I love you cause you're my parent. And I took care of that stuff because it was necessary, but I don't owe your friends nothing, you know, so something could be going on where, you know, somebody is like trying to bring other people in and, you know, try to get you to help them. So just set boundaries with anybody who you feel like is trying to take advantage. You even at work, I feel like you need to stand up to, you know, your boss or supervisor, if it seems like they're not allowing you to have, you know, enough time off or there's an imbalance in regards to work life. There's an imbalance. Mm. Be careful who you invite into your home or into your space. Because it's almost like it's hard to get rid of this person once you invite them in. Could be an air sign. Okay, so I'm getting the energy of someone who is maybe feeling ignored, left out, or rejected in a sense. Mm. You also could mistake someone's confidence for disinterest. Like maybe someone's more interested in themselves and they're not really interested in anything else at the moment. Or this is, you know, how someone is viewing you. They're like, they're not paying attention to me. Um, they're ignoring me. Like this person is more so focused on themselves. So I feel like because somebody is focused on themselves, they is causing another person to feel rejected. Um, hmm. And I'm also getting that someone is trying to, if there is a mutual attraction between you and another person, I feel like someone is trying to keep things cool. Like I feel like Someone has a tendency to become very obsessive or like just lose control of their emotions. And I feel like this person is trying to pace themselves. And that, this could be you as well, but somebody's trying to pace themselves. You also may feel the need to defend or protect your mother or mother figure or baby's mom. Mm. I'm 
also kind of getting the energy of someone who is maybe incarcerated being released. Either someone is just now getting out or they will soon, I would say coming up uh, this Libra season. Could go out to Capricorn season, but I feel like the soonest would be Libra. Yeah, someone's definitely watching you or you are, are watching someone. I feel like you also could be being like evaluated for work, especially like if you're being considered for some sort of management position. Um, I also feel that there may be some sort of obsession with your work. Like if you create things, you might become obsessed with your own creation. You're like, oh, I'm so obsessed with this. I created this song. I created this painting. I created this blah, blah, blah. And it's like you're, you could be actually obsessed with, with yourself. You could be viewed as a narcissist or someone is viewing you that way. I also feel like there could be a coworker who, who really is obsessed with you or yeah, it's really intense. They're really attracted to you. Something could be taboo if it is kind of like if it's rules at your job about dating, you know, coworkers, um, especially like a, a manager and, uh, you know, the, the person, the people that they manage, I feel like there could be something going on where there's a fear with dating that person and trying to stay away. It could be too that someone is trying to respect you, period, but they're having a hard time doing that. Supporting it. Be cautious of who you get involved with romantically. Um, it is possible too that someone is just watching intensely and not doing anything is because they're in a relationship. Um, if it's not that they're in a relationship, something's going on with their this person's family, like maybe they, um, the person that they bring into their life has to has to fit in with their family or their family has to almost like uh, approve like them needing family approval um it also may indicate that there is someone who's attached to them in a sense even if this person was not with let's say they had children and they're not necessarily with a baby's mom or a baby's dad, but this person is still kind of like codependent. So they're like involved in their life a lot. And so it's like, okay, if you're going to date them, you are going to be dating uh, the baby's mom or the baby's dad, or you're going to be dating the family. Like um, this person may have other weighty responsibilities and you are just needing to be uh, prepared for that. The other thing is that 
something may be a facade or a cover. So you think you are entering a wholesome relationship or a wholesome family and you know you are really entering mob territory you're like oh this is how we do <laughs> you know it's some it's some stuff going on it's just like well we got legal jobs too but this is our thing this is the main this is the source of our resources you know so it's just like oh okay so just kind of be prepared for that And then the other thing is that I feel like somebody is just like mm, deeply in love or is afraid to fall in love. There's a fear. There's something going on where there's a fear. I feel like a fear does need to be confronted. Health-wise, there could be a family member that's dealing with some sort of health issues, some sort of underlying health issues. They might know it and not have told anyone or maybe you suspect it. Or maybe because they don't want to tell people because they don't want, then they don't want people like telling them what they can and can't do. Someone is also very uh, protective, overprotective. Someone's family member or family in general might be very overprotective. I feel like someone is trying to make amends for something. Someone is trying to express their, um, not condolences, um, just their grief. They're express. They're trying to express their um, sorrows or something. They're sorry about something. Mm. There is some sort of regret. Someone may be feeling bad that they weren't vulnerable um, when you needed them to be, mm, or just apologizing for not being there when you needed them. This also could be something that you are doing, but I feel like someone is trying to express uh, how sorry they are. You also might find yourself feeling very emotional at times, but if you are an empath, more than likely you're picking up on someone else's feelings something that someone else is going through. You might miss a, a water sign or have some, I feel like there's grief and resentment, like upset at someone for not being there. But it's like you love this person or you care about this person. I feel like you understand, but you still have some sort of resentment. Um. Hmm. 
I feel like you're also feeling like your help isn't being appreciated or something that you're doing, um, there's a lack of appreciation. You might feel like you don't deserve something or that you deserve more of something. If you know someone that is like a recovering alcoholic, I feel like if they fall off the wagon, you're upset with them. You're disappointed. And you might end up showing someone some tough love. I also kind of feel like somebody is being blamed for something. Somebody may be blaming an authority figure for something. Seems like you might be upset about not being able to have access to some sort of information. Um, I feel like you're upset with authority. Something's also going on in regards to like how you're perceived. Kind of feel like, let's say you're someone who's just well respected. In a sense, I feel like you resent how the fact that people are putting you on a pedestal. Um, yeah, something could be going on where you're like, why did, why did you put me on a pedestal? Or why do you have me on this pedestal? Hmm. Or like I said, you just may be resentful towards an authoritative figure for something. Including like, you know, father, mother, supervisor. All right, so let me pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. kind of got some more about that resentment. I'm sorry that message keeps coming up, but I kind of feel like maybe someone is, if you were like a, a hardworking parent or, you know, just a hard worker, maybe you had a boyfriend and girlfriend, I almost feel like maybe someone is re feeling resentful towards you. Like even though you're able to provide, they still kind of hate that they didn't get some, you know time with you or something. So we have journey, man holding a heart, blossoming abundance, overall energy, angel of love. Okay, so I do feel like um, your heart is trying to guide you um, in a direction of a love interest or to follow your passions. Um, so either way, I feel like this weekend is about you still going on that journey. You may be about to experience something just brand new, out of your comfort zone. Um, but I feel that you, you feel drawn towards whatever you're headed. Maybe you're headed towards a person, you're headed towards a location. Um, it just seems like you feel guided. Now, in a love situation, definitely seems like someone is wearing their heart on their sleeve. Someone is um, being very expressive of how they feel. They're being vulnerable. Um, I'm seeing like someone basically pouring out their heart. Um, so either you are being very expressive, very um, 
unguarded or someone is being that way with you, you also may experience either some form of unconditional love or some type of emotional fulfillment um, this weekend. Whether you are receiving it or you're the one giving it. I feel like your heart chakra is activated. You might feel flutters in your heart. You might feel um, emotional. You might feel moved. I kind of feel that someone has the attitude as like they would give the clothes off their back for you. And that also kind of maybe ties into Someone may be taking advantage of you for being, you know, so giving or kind. So just be cautious of that. Mm. Okay, I'm hearing like Prince song, I Would Die For You. So you may be looking for your ride or die, or maybe you feel like you found them. Um... I feel like something's also going to be revealed to you. And I see an opportunity opening up and you taking advantage of this opportunity. Mm. So in love, I feel like if there's any opportunity out there for you that you're going to take advantage of it and, you know, open your heart and take some sort of chance on love. If it's not love or romantic, then anything that you feel really passionate about. Yeah. All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Send you love and grace.